Hello everyone and welcome to the Starving Dragons video unboxing of these, the Plantronics Blackbeat Pro wireless noise cancelling headphones. As you can see, this is the box it comes in. It's quite a decent size. It's got sort of transparent cutaways on the side here so you can get a quick glimpse of the headphones inside, which is pretty nice. Uh, I like the purple sort of theme. Uh, it makes it stand out. It's very visually appealing. Uh, it states on there that they are uh, up to 24 hours of listening and can connect to two devices. Uh, with an automatic play and pause function uh, and easy to use controls apparently. Uh, on the back you've got the usual stuff saying what it contains in terms of it's got a little carry case, uh, it's uh, compatible with uh, iPads, uh, phones, Androids and desktop machines. Basically it's just a Bluetooth set of headphones so it should be compatible with most Bluetooth stuff. So first off let's get in. So after sliding that in, just a, just a note quickly, uh, even the inside of the packaging has actually got um, some really nice stylized stuff on it which I think is just a nice little feature, just shows that you're getting something quite premium. Um, the box is uh, sort of cardboard at the top, uh, clear plastic at the side and cardboard at the bottom, it's a very nice tactile solid finish so it's nice and even it's even lined with like a sort of soft touch felt as you can see I can mark it quite easily and draw stuff on it, it's just nice. Um, so here are the headphones, uh, so let's have a quick look at them, so how they arrive, let's get the headphones out and just see what we've got, so I'm just going to put the packaging to one side, uh, let's have a look at the headphones, so um, they do lie flat, so they can be travelled like that, they've got good adjustable straps so they go pretty enormous head right the way down to what I'd assume is pretty childlike to be honest. Um, let's take a look at each ear cup just to show what controls are on each. So this is the left ear cup, oh sorry this is the uh, right ear cup sorry. Uh, as you can see it's got a phone button on the sides so if you press that uh, you can answer incoming phone calls. If you press and hold it for two seconds, you can actually uh, reject incoming phone calls. If you press and hold it uh, for longer than that, uh, it'll actually activate Siri if you've got an iPhone. Uh, on the back of the ear cup, you can see here that there's a plus and a negative button, and this wheel here actually turns. I don't know if you can see that, let me just see if I can get the camera to focus on it. So that wheel turns, and you can adjust the volume. Uh, this switch here uh, is a is the power switch, so that will control whether the device is on or off. And if you turn it on, you will see the current battery level indicated by the blue flashing lights there, and that's been turning it off. Uh, on the on the left ear cup, you've got a play and pause button in the centre and an NFC button at the top. The NFC button is for Android phones with NFC, you can just pair the device automatically just by pressing NFC and holding the phone nearby. Play and pause does exactly what it says on the tin, plays and pause. Um, on the back of this ear cup you've got a forward track, so this wheel, wheel is slightly different than the other one, this one doesn't turn all the way around, this one just sort of rotates a little bit and so you can just flick it into position. So forward track, back track, and there's another button on there which says ANC. Now that's uh, ANC stands for active noise cancelling, so that turns the noise cancellation features on and off. In addition to that, on the bottom of this ear cup, you've got a standard micro USB connector and a headphone jack. So I'm assuming in the package there's going to be a headphone uh, cable. On the bottom of the right ear cup, you've got a, a, a small button which has actually got a microphone symbol on it. And what that allows you to do is um, when you're wearing the headphones, especially if you've got the active noise cancellation feature enabled, uh, you can't hear anything at all. If you just tap that microphone button, what it does is it uses the microphones it uses for active noise cancellation and actually relays it through the headphones, which means you can hear your surroundings much more clearly. That's a really nice feature. Um, and you can even adjust the volume of that, so if you click it once and then change the volume, you can choose how much to let the sound through and not, and then if you click it again, it turns it off. Very nice feature, very cool. The ear cups are labelled, left and right. The uh, foam is a really soft memory foam, so it's just, it's beautiful. It's really soft, really squishy. I can't imagine these being uh, at all uncomfortable. And even the band at the top is filled with the same memory foam, so very nice set of headphones. Let's go back just very briefly to what else is in here. So if we take the uh, take the big cardboard bit out, 
you get this sort of bag. Uh, again, the bottom, obviously, nice and nice plastics and stuff. You get this nice bag. Uh, it's very heavy, actually. Um, it's got a bit of Velcro, and it's really nicely lined, like suede lined. It's just gorgeous, like really lined nicely. So in here, you've got a few things. In here, you've got uh, a micro, sorry, 3.5mm uh, jack cable, which um, is used for connecting the device to um, an iPod or a device with an output. It actually has an inline control for specifically for um, iPods and uh, iPhones and iMacs. Uh, sorry, not iMacs. Um, iPads even. Um, so that's that's really nifty. Obviously, you, the only reason why you'd really ever probably use this is if you were flying somewhere. Um, on flights, you're not allowed to have uh, Bluetooth devices connected. So this is your flight safe mode, effectively. So that's what that is. Uh, what else have we got here? Okay, you've got a micro USB cable here. So let's just unravel that a bit. So this is your standard micro USB cable. Um, USB on one end, micro on the other end, charging cable, effectively. It's also the cable that you use to do software updates. Uh, believe it or not, there's actually firmware on the on the uh, headphones themselves, uh, and you can update the firmware using this cable uh, and the Plantronics software. Uh, when I bought these, uh, they were on version uh, 21, uh, and since then version 22 has been released, and it does come with some audio improvements, so it's worth doing that. Uh, finally, a uh, sort of pocket guide. So you've got your getting started guide, your safety instructions, normal gumpf. Uh, and the getting started guide explains everything in terms of where the buttons are, how to use everything, how to adjust the fit. Also how to, this is the clever bit, it says it pair compare with two devices. What, what it wasn't clear at, at first was actually compare with them both at the same time. So it can actually pair with your phone. And your, and your laptop at the same time. And if your laptop's playing music, it will play music from your laptop. If your phone's playing, uh, has a phone call coming in, it will cut in and that will take precedence. So it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty, pretty clever. Um, I have been, I have tried them out because as you can see, there was a bit of, um, there was a bit of uh, battery in them when they arrived. Uh, and I've got to say, first impressions are very, very good. Um, they're definitely, I've seen some reviews saying that they're not particularly bass heavy. Or, or they, they favour the treble and the mid-range more than the bass. Personally, I wouldn't agree with that. I would actually say they are quite bass heavy. Um, but that's the kind of style I like. Um, that, that's good. Um, and the active noise cancellation feature is fantastic. It works really, really, really well. Um, I've got some Goldring NS1000s as well. Uh, and I have to say that they're at least as good as those, if not better. Um, I tried it with some sort of annoying background noises like um, hums and hisses and all this kind of stuff and it did a very good job of, if not eliminating completely, definitely reducing those uh, a lot. Uh, it's worth noting that they, they sort of follow this purple theme throughout, so uh, same colour as the packaging. All the cables are nice and sturdy and they're all sort of purple braided, not braided, sorry, um, coated. Um, there's a little tab on the headphones as well. Um, I don't know if it'll focus on that, but yeah, that's purple as well. It's just nice little features, and obviously the ear cups are purple. Um, all in all, decent weight to them as well. They're pretty solidly built. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to wear them and listen to them a bit more and then get back to you guys with a full review, but there you are. That's what's inside the box.